All right. We're doing it. Uh, I don't know. We're, uh, we're starting this off. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm half in the bag. Never do an Instagram live half in the bag. <laughs> Feeling it today. We got a lot going on. Horrible news. Uh, RPG. My wife called her RPG, and I was like, mm, not so inappropriate. A line from Roswell? Did I say what's so great about normal? Was that my line? I don't recall. Hate Brendan? Sandra. I'm actually not drunk. Either. Actually, I, I do look. That's a distinct possibility. But I'm not. Your mom says hi. All right. Fruity pink milk. Interesting. From Argentina. Very nice. I appreciate it. Um, I'll come out here for a little bit. We're, uh, yeah, the headband is, uh, I got girls, man. I got three girls. So they're all over the place. I use them. Oh, I covered my mic. Oh, sorry. I, I put my, I put the phone down and the mic's on the bottom of iPhones. So that works. Um, we got an Indiegogo for Baron and Toluca. Super important. The chickens are fine. They're in the tree. Two of them are in the tree. Icelandics, South Texas, Oregon. Chandler Mahondra with the headband. Yeah, but the, she's got the head, she does have the headband. It's a little different. Mine's a little thinner. Calgary, love it. Um, I do want to listen. This is all self promotion. It's nonsense. But we have uh, Baron and Toluca. If you guys haven't checked it out, we have a YouTube page uh, where you can check out the original trailer. We have obviously on my site, Mahandra's uh, social media pages. We have a Twitter account, uh, but we also have a website, Baron and Toluca. But we have an Indiegogo. We're making this thing happen. Um, and so sign up to the Indiegogo. It's just a pre launch page right now, but um, we, uh, we're going to launch it soon. We got some cool stuff. I actually took out a whole bunch of stuff from my garage today. T-shirts from the show, T-shirts I've bought, um, some wrap gifts. Uh, I got a sweet Roswell jacket. Um, that's actually super cool. That oh, I got messages. Um, that's gonna be up there, and we got a whole bunch of uh, you know great perks. So sign up uh, and uh, get to it. Uh, we're gonna do another viewing. We actually might do a YouTube live. We're checking that out. I'm trying to figure out how to get two people on YouTube live. It's not, they don't have the same kind of, I don't know, whatever, software, hardware options as uh, Facebook and Instagram. So it's a little um, different in that sense. You got to, you got to make it happen with like third party applications. Uh, what else? People want to be requested in this live, and I'm not opposed to that, but it's super dicey, because um, I don't know what you're going to say or do, and how to get out of it. Okay. Yeah, the hair change, I grow my hair out until I actually have to, um, it's always easier to cut it obviously, than to grow it. So I grow it out when I'm not working and all that stuff. I, I will be posting this on my Instagram story, yeah? Or whatever the TV thing is. I don't know how that works. People are ballsy. How, why are people ballsy? Lizette Salway? Uh, so we have the uh, Indiegogo. Go to Indiegogo, and you have to plug in B plus T, Baron and Toluca. Uh, not, don't spell it out and you'll get there. Sign up. We're going to have some awesome stuff. Who is camera ready at the, who is camera ready at this hour? Not me. This is, this is what I'm going with. IGTV. There you go. 
Instagram TV. New Zealand, how you doing? I love it. Oh, you know, so, oh, you're waiting to uh, post. Okay, this, is, this might cut out. I got to run for my glasses. I don't need glasses anymore, really, but I do have some. So I got two pair. Hold on, I'm going back before it cuts. Um, I, I pretty much got 2020 vision. I had the LASIK. frozen because I, I ran to the bathroom. Indiegogo. Okay. So th do I, I gotta look if I got anything crazy on there. Ooh, I got my, I got some emails on there. Hold on. We'll cut that out. We'll cut that out. Nothing else is too crazy. Okay. So Indiegogo is this. And then we're right there. It'll be backwards, but Indiegogo is a crowdfunding uh, campaign that we do. So here's my glasses. I got my glasses. So this is one. I don't really need them anymore because I had um, surgery on my eyes, but it fro it did freeze so hard. Wait, am I still frozen? I'm not still frozen. Someone comment whether I'm still frozen or not. Tell me if I'm still frozen. Oh, I got a thumbs up. That's good. Thumbs up, not frozen. There's one. There's one. So kind of, I just unfroze. I left and it came back and it's unfrozen. Not anymore. There you go. So there's one. You know, kind of on the bigger side, whatever else. I don't need glasses because I got LASIK. So that's why. So there's one. And here's the other. Uh, hello, gorgeous. Damn right. Uh, here's the other. They're a little smaller and stuff. So I got a super weird face for glasses. Like, not a lot of glasses look good on me. And these clear things up a bit, but I did get LASIK and all and everything else, but it wasn't totally perfect. I had LASIK three times on my eyeballs. Three times. This is a character we need to put in a movie. I'm just saying. Okay. Not frozen. Thank you. Um, live action. You're damn right. That's an award when I was a good actor, but I won. Um, I didn't even win. I was just nominated. Uh, LASIK was worth it. I had a great doctor, and uh, I really appreciated that. Obviously, I looked into it. I thought I was going to be the one guy who was just going blind, but uh, I didn't. And now it's great. I can wake up and I can see stuff. It did not hurt. I'll tell you this about LASIK. You can smell your eyeballs burning. That's a fact. You can smell your eyeballs being burnt. Not too bad. Yeah, these are these are my Mahondra glasses. For sure. I almost look like Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Not quite. I don't even have the character of that woman. Damn it. It's a thing, but we're going to get through it. Um, Drew. Drew's great. Uh, I, I do... Oh, my phone. I can already feel it getting hot. It's crazy. I don't wear the glasses too much because I actually don't need them that bad. And I wear them for certain characters. I'd actually love to wear them in a movie. Um, at, at, at some point. But, I don't know. The second pair. This is the second pair. They're a little smaller. 
It's a little more, little more studious, I feel. Not with the headband, clearly. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Me and Jill Flint. Jill Flint from uh, Night Shift. What was her character's name? Owen was TC. Jill was Hot Damn. I was Drew. JR was Kenny. Robert was... He wasn't Jimmy. Who the fuck was Robert? RBJ played... This is what happens. Jill. Dr. Topher. Topher played... Oh, no. Ken was Topher. Oh, she's gonna rip me a big one for this. Paul Cummings. Dr. Paul Cummings. Of course. Um, uh, Jordan. Jordan. Man. Doesn't get better with old age. Don't don't worry about it. The bigger the glasses, the better. I'm a big fan of George Hahn right now. George Hahn is on... Um, he looks a little better than I do in these, but... Uh, these aren't quite right. I chose the cheapest glasses. The frames were like fourteen dollars. Um, so cheap. A little girly, a little girly. In kind of the, the upslope here. But um, I don't know. I can pull them off with my pubic chin hair. Someone someone said that today that I have pubic chin hair. What does that mean? <laughs> what pubic chin hair? I don't get it. Anyways. Um, Dr. Feelgood. That's a whole nother story. I am drinking... I actually just got water, unfortunately. Um, where did you pay $15? Well, the lenses were $15. No, the frames were $15. And then they upcharge you on the lenses. I did get a good deal. I got two pair for... Like 320 total. Not too bad. Oh, your first set of readers. 5-0. Yep. Yeah. That's about the time to do it. I'm actually drinking vodka. I'm totally lying. But we have... Okay. This is the thing about... Um, we might be offering people who sign up for the Indiegogo a special link to the trailer early on on before anyone else sees it for Baron and Toluca. Why are you guys on here? Let me ask this. What kind of phone do you have? 7 Plus that um, heats up? I could cook an egg on this thing right now. Night Shift. Can you recommend a movie? I'm bored. Oh, I can recommend... Yeah. Uh, the Social Dilemma was pretty good on Netflix. Um, my Octopus Teacher was... It was great. It starts off a little slow, but uh, it was it, it it almost brings you to tears. I want to be Nova in the U, UCM. B&T opening theme song. I don't know. What's your recommendation? Should we get Dido to do like an original? I'm totally for that. Let's bring it back, man. Let's like let's do the whole thing. Um, I did golf Pebble Beach. My Pebble Beach story is I wanted to play from the back tees. And I was about a 10 handicap at the time. And the guy was like, yeah, no, 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 you can't. I just I just paid $480 to play a golf course, which I don't ever do. And I want to play from the back tees. And the guy says, well, you can't, you can't play from here unless you're a two or under handicap. I said I'm a two or under. Long story short, took an 11 on the first hole of Pebble Beach. Hit it out of bounds into that person's backyard uh, three times. Took an 11 and shot an 84 from the backs, from the tips on Pebble Beach. That's my Pebble Beach story. Uh, so me and Mahandra are working on Baron and Toluca, uh, which is... Uh, pretty good she's doing a whole bunch of writing i'm doing uh a whole bunch of obviously the merch and the indiegogo 
but I look sunburned. I always look a little, um, this, where I am right now always makes me look a little red with the lights and everything else, but I tend to go red as well. Not sunburnt though, not terribly. I don't know. See, like, my arm's not, it's the computer light and then, it, I, I, I don't know, I'm not sunburnt. Uh, B and T. Nah, B and T. Rob. Oh, in the uh, leather. Uh, OG cast guest. Oh yeah, we're gonna have. Oh, we've been talking to Nick and Jason and some other people about appearing on uh, Baron to look at. Finish the self tape. Love that I can take a break and listen to you a bit, picking up the best. Oh, self taping and then picking out the best part, the best take. It's the worst. It's the worst doesn't exist but good luck on your self tape go with what you like that's my whole thing you look fine no worries a new mexican tan i get it do you watch football i do watch football not college well i do watch college football Notre dame is my team from canada i got no uh geographic um loyalties is the word i was looking for so uh, watch Notre Dame growing up. So college football, Notre Dame, NFL, Buffalo Bills. How hot is it there? Wasn't too bad. Uh, what was it today? Had a round of golf today. Um, played like poop. And I don't know, 85 maybe? Night shift's not coming back. How's everyone else doing out there? What are you guys doing? I want to hear about what you guys are doing. Oh, someone said that Best Brianna had a great question, but I didn't see Best Brianna's great question. Be careful how you say that. Indiegogo will go live. Okay, this yeah, this is the plan. I'll give you a little, uh, you know, for those who tuned in. Uh, we want to go early October. So it's going to be the first week in October sometime. we got to work out a few things. We're getting a few things. Um kind of secured and all that and trying to just figure out the the metrics of it and all that stuff. It's a little, it's interesting. Where do you like to play golf here in uh, New Mexico? I play it south most of the time. <clears throat> Worked out for three hours. Three hours. What did you do for three hours working out? Hey, Brazil. Lying in bed early for a Saturday. Good. What's your favorite memory with Mahandra? Oh, man. What is my favorite memory with Mahandra? Um, she, she did throw uh, the best parties. Like for my birthday... It, it, you know, I, I think looking back, my birthday is October 29th. And so she she always threw a Halloween birthday party for me. And they were pretty epic. Those were, uh, they weren't the best. That, that's a memory I can share with you, for sure. That's uh that's an absolute classic. Oh, from teaching SWAT 1983. How you doing? What uh what grade do you teach? I love living in New Mexico. For sure. I absolutely uh yeah, my kids love it. It's really great. Lazy Saturday, Sundays on my deep cleaning. Fair enough. Going to dress up. What does that mean? You're going to dress up. I just read comments and try to pick them out because I sometimes I'm looking at I look at myself on this funnily enough um no my wife doesn't get mad that I'm working with Mahandra <laughs> because I think both my wife and Mahandra's husband's uh husband she only has one know that um it's it it, it it's what you guys love it it it's so good but it's Almost never gonna. It, it would never work. Um, this is getting super interesting here. Um, 
But no, we're both. Oh my good. Now I just went like super. Um, workout video. All of it. I'm I'm going 1980s workout video. Let's do this. I was always Spider Man. I'm a Spider Man guy. Early on, actually, in my early childhood, looking back, I was a uh, Incredible Hulk. And I remember I had this Incredible Hulk doll, and he got wet. And I uh, blowed him off the blow dryer, trying to blow him. I've never tried to blow the Incredible Hulk. That's awful. This works so much better with Mahandra, because all these things come across um, way more... I don't know. Anyways, I was blow drying him and I um I stuck it on him, the blow dryer, like on his on the Incredible Hulk's chest, and he had a a circle over his heart that like burned into him in my favorite Incredible Hulk doll. And um at first it, it like it made me really upset and even at that age, I don't know what age I was, but um, looking back on it, I thought it was kind of a unique thing. And I I think that's a good perspective, right? Scars and all those things are, um, they tell a story. And I think stories are super important, so. <clears throat> Sorry. I had a good dinner. I'm going, oh, this is this is why I got on. Well, not just why. I am going on a three-day fast. This is not going to be a good idea. Only water for three days. I want to see what... <laughs> You're banned from St. Blow. I should be banned from St. Blow. Um, but I'm going on a three-day fast. Starting uh, basically tomorrow. But I'm not going to eat tonight. So it basically from like now on for three days. So it's going to be a little... I don't know. Basically, yeah, 72 hours, I guess. I'm going to see if I can handle it. I want to see what happens to my body. It's not easy. I could be miserable. But I, I you know, but I got to, I don't know. You got to deprive yourself of, we're so, this society is so built on, you can't take me seriously in this outfit, I understand that. But we're so built on like instantaneous stuff and, um, you know, everything that we get so much of what we want immediately that I think a, a certain amount of discipline has gone is out of fashion. A certain amount of, um, just patience and waiting is lacking. And so, um, so every year I give something up for the entire year. Last year was alcohol, not this year. Um, this year's fast food. Haven't eaten any fast food um, <clears throat> all year this year. And so next year, I'll probably give up either alcohol or cigars again. Um, but for a th full 365 days from midnight to midnight, I give something up. Uh, because I, I just feel like this instant gratification kind of uh, entitled society we get everything so fast right it faster get it faster we need stuff fast we need information faster we need everything faster and it, I, I just don't dig it I mean some of it's absolutely useful give up sugar um, that's great keep going 10 months sober phenomenal um, th that is one of the hardest you know addiction it, it's and some some of us are addicted to social media. Some of us are addicted addicted to you know drugs, smoking, alcohol, sex, porn. Um, some of us are addicted to success, right? Like you overwork yourself. Um, you can't take any time off work for your family, right? Some of us are addicted to um, a whole bunch. There's just so many things and. You know, I don't want to ever get myself caught in a, be in a position where I have to do something, it, it, unless it's for a positive reason, right? I have to help people. I have to love people. I have to um, do those sorts of things. And so, 
Uh, could I do a blog entry of my fast? I'll try to do that. I'm not sure how to do that. If someone could uh, help me out with that, I'd, I'd certainly do that. Um, yeah, we're addicted to social media, right? And our phones and to the internet. Uh, so I try to kind of deprive myself of something to see how I react physically, mentally, and and uh, and then take it from there. So food addiction, for sure. Facebook addiction. Yeah, absolutely, man. They're, a, a, addictions... They're sneaky motherfuckers, right? Like they creep up on you. It's 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 the same as idolatry um, in Christianity. It sneaks up on you, and all of a sudden, something has overtaken something else, and it and it's higher on the pedestal. And without recognizing that, uh, it's it's obviously you can't without recognizing it, you can't combat it and overcome it and try to fight it. Uh, but even when you do, it's super tough. So. Um, deprive yourself of negative thinking. I'll sit with that for a little bit. Negative thinking's generally not, you know, blanket statement, not a good thing. But understanding your weaknesses, is that negative or is that positive, right? Like, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure what that means. This, this is interesting. Um, addicted to coffee. Coffee can't really hurt you, unless the caffeine makes you f- fucking nuts. So, addictions are a bitch. That is true. The longest fast was over a year long. A Scottish guy. Wait, what? I don't. I'm not sure. It's a deep conversation. But we can talk about good stuff, for sure. Addicted to Nutella. Yeah, I mean, how serious does that get? I guess if you're so addicted to it, you eat jars and jars and it makes you unhealthy. That's a, that's a bad thing. Fast food, what a burger. Negative talk, putting yourself down and whatnot. I, th- I, I I'm not a supporter of negative talk. Sorry, I'm plugging in my phone. But I'll say this. um, I I think my phone's slowing down. Wait, is it? Maybe. I do want to bring myself down a notch every once in a while. And so I don't mind a little negative talk. Are we back on? It's my phone. This is the thing. I won't even talk about this because I don't know if I'm back on yet. Wait, am I on? Comment? Oh, here we go. Okay. Here we go. My phone's dying, so I gotta get off soon. Um, here's the thing. Hot phone. It is hot phone. People know I got a I got a fucking hot phone. I got a super hot phone. Super hot phone. Is your phone as hot as mine? Um What was I gonna say? Oh my goodness. Um oh, it was so good too, and I waited on it. No. Well, the other thing is, uh, I'm going to buy a new phone, but the 12s are coming out, and I can't find enough memory in the 11s. It, it's a total disaster. <sighs> Who do I want to win the Stanley Cup? Oh, my goodness. What wrist do I want to slit? Right? Left or right? Doesn't matter. Ugh. Dallas or Tampa Bay? Really? Awful. It hurts me. It hurts me. Those are the teams? Uh, I love Jamie Ben. I do. I'm a I'm a Jamie Ben guy. So I guess I'd lean Dallas. Uh, okay. Oh, negative talk. Negative talk. There we go. 
I don't mind being brought down a notch or two. Like I don't want to speak to myself negatively in a uh, in an overwhelming manner. But I want critique, right? I want criticism. I want things that tell me that I don't know everything, that I'm not... Um, that I'm not all who I think I am, you know, et cetera, et cetera, whatever the case may be. And so I th- I think a, a certain amount of, I wouldn't call it negative talk, and I guess that's one way, but I kind of, I don't know. I mean, critique, critique is, is essential to improving oneself. And some people take ne- critique as negative talk. Um, in this kind of, in, in the culture we're living in. And so I guess that's where um, I, I would confuse. I don't confuse the two, um, but some other people might. Um, critiquing oneself is great, but it's just got to lead to uh, being, it's got to lead to something positive, right? If If your negative talk leads to something positive, then great. I don't think negative le- le- leads to positive. It would be more of a critique or a criticism. Um, understanding your weaknesses leads to a positive because you can improve those things. So I think that's kind of, it's a little bit semantics. It's a little bit attitude. It's a little bit of the psychology of the words. Um, but that's where I would, uh, that's where I would go. Um, I, I, I think we've confused critique with negativity and that's a problem because if you can't accept critique it it, it's not good for anyone what what else is going on i gotta my phone i could cook an egg on this thing okay i'm getting off um the headband has done its job uh i appreciate all you guys um Again, DM me with questions. DM me with uh, anything you want to talk about. Not anything, but you know what I mean. And um, I appreciate all you guys. But we are... I I have 69 viewers. I mean, someone had to write it and I had to repeat it. I know. Oh, these are the times I miss. I'm not even going to say that. Um, Only because the joke would be so much better. Uh, But here we go. All right. I'm off. My phone needs a headband. True enough. God bless. I appreciate all you guys uh, tuning in. And girls. When I say guys, I mean everyone. I appreciate it. But um, thank you. Have a great night. Uh, Check out Baron Toluca on Indiegogo. I N. D I E G O O dot com and then B plus T. All right. Have a good one.